What's up with all the African stuff? <laughs> I know, right? What the hell was the deal with that? Hello, guys. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about that little clip that I showed there. And we do have a better video and a more lightened video today. And I thought this was fucking hilarious. And today, well, I didn't actually think I was going to be talking much about it. But as you know, the Democrats decided to go very pandering to their black Colleagues, this is so fucking pandering, and it's I can't wait to tell you the punchline. Um, yeah, so they decided to go very pandering the show. George Floyd was black, African. No, he was born in America, but okay. And we thought we'd go on our knees with the colours on our necks, a little scarf, and all that to see how you know how progressive we were to go on our knees and for. Eight and a half minutes, and even see a Nancy Pelosi can't even fucking stand. That's fucking great. Even that one Democrat that couldn't even fucking go on his knees. How fucking disrespectful. At least he was quiet, eh? <laughs> no, that's not the punchline. So, we don't want to talk about that, that fabric. I mean, we know they were pandering. That's nothing fucking important. They do that anyway. That fabric down their neck. Well, that cover or that design belongs to an old tribe in africa i don't know why they thought it was a good idea to wear an african i don't know color maybe they didn't realize african colors didn't go on white people or it was not their thing or it wasn't supposed to be like that it was some big pandering thing but that one same color has association with the Ashanti tribe. The Ashanti kingdom, in other words, which was, uh, it's based in Africa. I mean, I don't need to explain it. It did exist and the British did get involved and all that. But um, it was the Ashanti tribe. And I'll tell you one thing about it. The Ashantis did a massive slave trading. Yeah, they did. So, well done, Democrats. You were the panda to the Africans, and you didn't even bother doing the research. So you're wearing the fabrics of slave traders. Well done, you fucking idiots. <laughs> oh, my God. But don't take it from me. Take it from this lady, which will tell you exactly what it means, and she's from Africa, so... She fucking knows it. Let's watch her say it. Hi friends, I'm usually either too busy or too lazy to make this kind of quick video response. But today something happened and I thought it's actually important enough that I get in front of my camera and make a short video to explain something short enough for, uh, for me to post on Twitter. I was just looking online today like most of you and what did I see? A bunch of Democrat politicians kneeling down of which i have nothing to say about that because i am not an american however they were all ha uh, having around their necks this colorful fabric which i'm sure they put around their necks as some kind of uh, mark or show of unity or solidarity with black people so in other words they are putting for what they can contain material or this colorful fabric they had around their necks as uh, some kind of placating sign or symbol to show that they are not racist and they are together with black people excuse me dear democrats in your tokenism you didn't wait to find out that this thing that you're hanging around your neck is not just some african uniform it's actually the kente material the kente belongs to the ghanaian people mainly the ashanti tribe excuse me democrats don't treat africans like we're children these fabrics and these you know colorful things that we have within our culture and tradition they all mean something 
something to us. I know you look at us and you say, oh, Africans, you're so cute in all your colorful dresses. Well, some of those dresses and patterns and, and colors and fabrics actually do mean something to us. Some of them belong to ancient tribes and mean something to them. So why are you using it as your own show of uh, non-racism or your own show of virtue? Why are you using the Kente material to signal your virtue? Stop it. We are not children. Africans are not children. And leave our tradition and our culture to us. And if you don't know much about it, ask somebody. I'm sure there would have been something else you could have done to show your, your solidarity with black people. Instead of taking the Kente material and making a little show of <laughs> It's fucking great to show that the Ashanti people actually slaved these people up for trade. I mean, they actually... Like, every other country in Africa actually did this as well. I mean, I don't know why everyone seems to forget that. If you want Black Lives Matter, go to fucking Africa. You winner, because they'll fucking hate you for that. And we know what happens anyone that goes to fucking Africa. They get fucking killed for this shit. But that's gonna lead what the... What Ashanti tribe slaves... Uh, trade slaves. Why did they do that? I mean, why could they do that? That's fucking insane. I mean... We only turned down the British fucking economy for this, but it's all right, the Ashantis didn't have any legit reasons, right? The slave trade was literally focused in the north, with captors going to Nan Mandi and Husa traders who exchanged them for goods by from North Africa and independent indirectly from Europe by the 18, the, well, 1800, the trade had shifted from to the south, south of Ashanti, so, sought to meet the growing demand of the British, Dutch, and French for captivities. And they actually look this up. It does exist. Look it up. It is a thing. They do have it, and they actually have quite. Legit fucking reasons for slave trading. And um, there, there was like a few things I read on Wikipedia. If you just look at Wikipedia itself, that was not Wik Wikipedia you saw there. That was actually from the... Just when you type in the Ashanti tribe with slavery. But that was from the... www.blackpass.org. So take a look at them for that. But I think that's it guys. I, it's nice to see the, the Democrats fuck up again. Nice for them to pander to the left and completely fuck up like they always do. I hope that the Republicans can sue, sue them. So, have a good day and see you in the next one. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And remember, hail the Empire!